Good morning, everybody. John Stamper here with Dental Cast Productions. Very excited to be back with you this morning. We are here at the CSDA's annual Charter Oak Dental Meeting, the 154th annual. We're very, very excited. We started yesterday, and we have a full day today, all day tomorrow. We're going to be spending time with a lot of the great speakers here, a lot of the attendees, the great sponsors that make these meetings happen. And it is a true honor to start today with our guest, Dr. Chad Gahani, who has been practicing dentistry, I think you said 38 years. Yes. Queens, New York. Uh, and just a little tidbit, he is the president-elect of the ADA. So Dr. Gahani, is a pleasure. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for, for coming on the podcast. And I know we were just talking a little bit about this wonderful story of yours, of your, your uh, history in dentistry, your wife's, your, all of your children, and there's a, a, a whole full history of dentistry with your family. Well, dentistry is a great profession. Uh, U.S. News and World Report has uh, uh, ranked dentistry as one of the number five professions since last six or seven years. I'm proud to call myself a dentist and a member of the American Dental Association. Dentistry has been so good to me and to my wife and our children that we did not have to tell anything to our children. They themselves decided to be dentists. I'm very proud that my son is an orthodontist who practices in Dallas, Texas. My daughter is an orthodontist. And then we have a black sheep in the family. <laughs> my son, Neil, who decided to be a head and neck surgeon. But he's happy and I'm still proud of him. Right. But I don't know what we did wrong with him. <laughs> Yes, and I know we were saying that what that dinner conversation was like the day that he shared with you and your wife of what he was going to do. But the most important thing, like you said, uh, certainly I'm both of you are proud and what you've been able to continue to do. And I'm really excited to learn a little bit more about your next venture as the president-elect of the ADA. I know we're here at the at the Connecticut meeting and. Talk a little bit about that as, as you get ready to prepare for this, this new journey in your career. Yeah. First of all, I want to thank the membership of the American Dental Association for hiring me to be their servant leader to work for them in Chicago. Uh, my vision is that the ADA must be the go-to resource for everybody, public, dentist, as well as the legislators. We are the leading authority on oral health, not only just in the United States, but globally. No government, no foundation, no one knows dentistry as well as we, the dentists, the American Dental Association knows the dentistry about. So my vision is to make our ADA the go-to source resource, as well as to unite the entire dental profession mm -hmm. as one family. We are one family. Yeah, absolutely. So along those lines, we're here at this, this state meeting, and one of the things we wanted to do as part of this live podcast was obviously showcase the value of these meetings. And, you know, we know technology is changing a lot of things. We know there's a lot of things focused on online education. It has its point and its place. But talk about what it's like here to come to these meetings. I know you get to meet with a lot of your colleagues and, and, and your vision for that moving forward for all of the states, including the ADA. Yeah, F first of all, you get to learn in person a lot of things. You also are able to do a lot of live, hands-on demonstrations that you cannot do it on an online uh, CE programs. More importantly, I get to network and I get to uh, reunite with so many of the colleagues that I only see them once a year, as well as I make new contacts. I'll tell you a small story. When I graduated out of Columbia University, it was one of these meetings where I met Dr. Richard Asher, who had a room for rent in his office. That's where I started my practice, with $600 a month of renting that office room I was all set in business. So it saved me a lot of time, a lot of money, and I have never looked back since the time that I rented the room and then as I made money, I built my own practice next door, and here we are. So there are tons of advantage of being in-person meetings. Yes. 
Yeah, and, and along those lines, when you look at the next couple of years, and certainly you talked about your vision for the ADA, what are you really excited about? When you look at dentistry, there's obviously a lot of challenges like there are in every profession, but I want to focus on the positive. I'm, I'm, I'm very excited what you just shared about your vision. What are one or two things you're really excited about now when you look at the future of dentistry? Well, the future uh, is very bright. Uh, look, look at the exhibits here. Uh, you could do a lot of things very predictably and you can reproduce your uh, procedures uh, very often and uh, uh, the new technology helps us in serving our patients so well that dentistry is actually it's an art as well as science yep. and uh, we as dentists recognize a lot of uh, uh, disease, the systemic disease, first before even the physician finds out. So I'm very excited for the future of dentistry. Yeah. Well, and I can certainly say that, you know, in speaking with the leadership team here from the C CSDA, they were very excited, you know, for you to be here and to and, and to not only come on this morning and, and, and talk about your vision and all of that. Uh, your meeting, the ADA meeting, is coming up in San Francisco. Very yes. excited. So maybe share with everybody a little bit about that. Uh, I'm looking forward to see all of you in San Francisco uh, in uh, the first week of September. Uh, it, San Francisco is an exciting city. It's a wonderful place to visit. So you get to visit one of the best cities in the world, as well as you will be able to uh, get your CE credits. Uh, you will also be able to uh, make connections with your dentist friends and I invite all of you to come and join me and above all you will be crowning me at that time as your servant leader so I'm excited and I want all of you to be there thank you for again choosing me to serve you that's a great way to wrap this. I, I, I'm super excited for you. I'm super excited for obviously, you know, the this servant leadership position you're talking about. And, and, and I love what you said, Dr. Kahani, about how important it is that dentistry bands together. Uh, it, it is, uh, I have had this opportunity, even with my team here, as we've brought them into dentistry, they can't believe when we go to these meetings, the camaraderie, uh, people are collaborating more, Absolutely. they want to work together. It only you know, makes things better for everybody that's a part of the great profession, and certainly, most importantly, the patients. Right? Absolutely. That's how we're going to help the patients. So, you know. Well, the patients are always the number one uh, uh, people for us. We always believe in patients first. So remember, patients first. And again, thank you for giving me this opportunity, and have a wonderful, blessed day. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you so much for your time, and enjoy the rest of the meeting. Thank you. Okay. Everybody's invited to, to this that's actually attending the Hinman tonight, but we are also going to be there. We're going to be live streaming. Our first interview of the evening, I'm very, very excited. We have Dr. Robert first Peskin, interview. the wow. first one. Wow. It's cool when you look around and you see you and your crew all over the place, and I think that that's one of the exciting things when you go to a show like this. Watching what you guys are doing at this meeting has been really incredible. I mean, I love to be in awe of people. I'm in awe of what you and your team are doing. Yeah. It's very cool. You can see the, the the upshot of video learning. It's its everywhere and it's, you know, people want to learn in 15, 20 minute modules. Right. I mean, video learning right. is has gone insane yes. in terms of the potential that yes. you can do. To get it done for a number of reasons. I think there's an authenticity there because it's not being photoshopped. The uh, Hemant Dental Society is a private study club. Uh, we have 850 members and they all donate their time to put this meeting on. They are representing the ADA here with us today. All the new trends, all the changes, they're promoted here. We love this meeting. Um, you know, this is probably our biggest meeting every year. We're very excited because this year we are celebrating our 35th anniversary as an association. We are the Organization for Safety, Asepsis, and Prevention. So I spend most of my time working with dental students and young dentists with the goal of, you know, uh, engaging them and educating them, empowering them to have a better future for dentistry. We wanted to have a mouth prop that would um, have interchangeable accessories but not restrict access to the work area for dentists. My goal starting out with Cordy's was not just to have this one little product that's kind of clever and functional 
um, but it's more to change the industry standard on how power scaling is done. Uh, RevueWell is a great patient engagement system. We do three things extremely well. We attract new patients to the practice, we retain the patients that they already have, and we help them get their treatment accepted. You want to listen to your customer, you want to make sure you're addressing all their needs, but you also want to get your product to market and so you need that validation from the customer. Technology is changing everything. All of my friends that are dentists or hygienists that have actually created something, yeah. I get to see how technology has changed everything right. um, for the better. First of all, we're going to talk about what is IT security. I want you to be wise about your technology. I want you to be wise about the information that your patients have entrusted you with. We have weekly admin meetings. Typically it's the doctor and your office manager or practice administrator. Videos play a big part, right? Yeah. Videos are huge. Um, you've got to have a video strategy. You're an amazing example of this is videos are your best lead generators today in marketing period. I love what you guys are doing in this space because it's fast, it's quick, it's actionable and you can get it out there to the audience very quickly.